to better prepare you for Crafton's newest Battle Royale experience. And that near future angle, it's given us tons of opportunity to innovate. You probably noticed some crazy new mechanics and features in the trailer. You're gonna love the new options and tools we've developed to aid your survival experience on Troy. A brand new, massive, futuristic, eight x eight map built from the ground up, utilizing groundbreaking lighting and rendering technology, developed in-house that raises the bar for graphics and performance across the mobile space. So without further ado, let's begin our field trip into Troy and gather some intel to give you the competitive edge of the locations you'll soon be fighting over. Our first stop is the exhibit hall, the heart of Troy. From the top, it kind of looks like a bullseye, right? You're probably noticing the wide open air center, and I'm sure your palms are getting sweaty thinking about the hot drops that'll take place there. But looks can be deceiving. The different levels of verticality provide options for all play styles. Got good aim? Land on the roof and be ready to prove it quickly. Prefer stealthy play? Drop below and use the bulletproof glass overhead to protect yourself as you plan your ascent. There are many other dynamic features to discover around the exhibit hall, but I don't want to spoil them all. The Mall. The mall features a similar dynamic to the exhibit hall with an open roof and wide spaces, but this location, it's all about positioning. Each store has its share of advantages and disadvantages to account for as you size up the competition. The roof gets hot, but if you survive it, there are many ways to sneak around and flank your indoor enemies, crushing them from the perimeter. If you're on the lower levels, the honeycomb architecture and bulletproof glass will give you the angles you need to secure your chicken dinner. Another fun element to strategize around. They're fully functional and directional, so be sure to choose the right direction or you'll risk losing precious speed and become an easy target. Moving over to the laboratory, with four levels of intense enclosures and corridor warfare. With its unique structure, ensuring your team's survival in the laboratory will take a great deal of cooperation and creative thinking. The central area is encased in bulletproof glass, so you're safe as long as you don't come out, or they don't come in, or the blue zone doesn't get you. For the last stop on today's tour, let's take a look at the trailer park. Now it's all bunkers and bullets here. You'll have to vault, sneak, and climb to conquer this spot. But if it's not looking good and you need a quick exit out of trouble. But stay tuned for the next episode where we'll dive into more features. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you on the Battlegrounds.